guys welcome back in today's video we're gonna be doing a little get ready with me we're gonna be using some new products that I just picked up from the drugstore we're gonna be testing out the new wet and wild foundation the new color pop concealers which I'm pretty late in the game um, and then a new primer from wet and wild a new bronzer so yeah if you guys are interested on how I achieve this look or you guys want to see how I like the products I'm testing out just keep on watching Alrighty, so let's get started. Um, sorry in advance, this little thing is still in my face. All right, so I'm just going to prep my skin really quickly. Let me just kind of... All right, so let's jump right into the video. I already prepped my skin and I did the Kiehl's moisturizing cream with the hyaluronic acid serum. I did a few drops of that, put that all over my skin. And then I did this new wrinkle cream that I just got from Ulta. It's from Juice Beauty and it's a stem cellular anti-wrinkle eye treatment. So I did some of that underneath my eye and then I also used um, some tinted sunscreen. And I just put that kind of like on my T-zone where my mild rosacea is at. And then now I'm going to put some lip balm on just to hydrate my lips. I'm really excited for this video because I've seen this foundation all over YouTube. And I have really dry skin so I think it's going to be really good for me. I have tried the original one um, like a year ago and it's good but since like I said I have dry skin it kind of it's okay <laughs> it's okay okay so I did get this new primer that went wild came out with it's the water drop primer and the scent rose and it claims that it is a cream to water formula hydrates and locks down moisture blurs the appearance of pores so we shall see I'm gonna apply this first and I'm gonna put a little bit on my hand and just kind of hmm this is weird it is a cream that turns into water I don't know how this is supposed to hide my pores, but it smells really good. I love like rosy scents. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna press it up to my skin to see if that helps. It feels pretty nice kind of very moisturizing. So for foundation, I'm using the new Wet n Wild Photo Focus in the Dewy, and this is in Golden Beige. Hopefully this matches my fake tan. I think it might be a little too light, but we'll make it work. Alrighty, so I'm just gonna apply this directly onto my face. I don't even know if this is the right way to apply it, but we shall see. I think I put a little too much in my nose. <laughs> I feel like the color looks okay. I think it mm, is maybe like a half shade lighter, but we'll make it work. So it does look really natural on the skin. It does have like a dewiness to it, which I like. I would say it is full coverage. I would say like medium to full. It did hide my like freckles a little bit. I like it. It's really nice. It feels really lightweight on the skin, which I love. All right. 
and we're gonna do the other side. Um, yes, covered up that pimple. Love it. Okay, this is actually really nice. Like I said, I think the color is a, like a half shade lighter, but it's fine because once my tanner will fade a little bit, this will match like perfect. But so far so good, like it. And it was super cheap, I think it was like $5.99 or $6.99. I got it from Walgreens. I do wish Ulta sold Wet n Wild. It would just be a lot easier than going to two separate stores. But it's okay. Okay, next we're gonna do concealer. So I got two new concealers from Ulta and it's the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Creamy Concealer. I'm super excited about this. I got the color light 45W and light 60N. I'm not sure which one's gonna work best for me. So I think I'm gonna do the light neutral. Um, but I don't know if I might be too pinky for me. We shall see. I'm just gonna put a tiny bit right under my eye. I like how this is a little bit of a pinky tone because it will get rid of my dark circles. Okay, that's actually really pretty. I thought it wasn't gonna be like super full coverage. I would say it's like medium coverage, um, more on the natural side. But this would be nice for like, you know, fresh natural makeup days. Cause the shape tape is full coverage and it is pretty matte. So this is a little bit more natural, more dewy. Wow, I really like this concealer. But we shall see how it works throughout the day. I'm gonna apply a little bit of this light 45W just right underneath, just to brighten it a little bit. This is a little bit more yellow tone, but I think it should be fine. I'm gonna put a little bit right here, down the bridge of my nose. I actually really like how this concealer looks on the skin. It just feels like super like fresh looking, hence the name. <laughs> the only thing is, is that this foundation might be a little too light for me, but I'm gonna go in with like a cream contour just to add some color to my face. But like I said, once my tanner starts fading, I think it's gonna be like a perfect match. All right, so concealer is done. I'm just going to warm up my face a little bit with some concealer or cream contour. But I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade Cafe. And I'm just going to do a little bit like that and blend it in with my brush. Okay, that looks really pretty. So now I'm gonna be doing my eyebrows now and I'm gonna be using the Essence Eyebrow Pencil and the Catrice Eyebrow Pencil. I 
I don't like to see foundation on my lips. <laughs> okay, so now I'm gonna take the lighter shade and go in the inner corner. All right, so to set my under eye, I'm gonna be using this L'Oreal Infallible Pro Setting Powder. Just pop that right underneath my eye. Wow, this concealer looks so good. Oh my God. So to set my T-zone, I'm gonna be using the Maybelline Fit Me Powder in the shade translucent. So for bronzer, I'm gonna be trying the new Wet n Wild um, in the color What Shady Beaches. <laughs> I actually like the name <laughs> a lot. What Shady Beaches. Hmm, clever actually really pretty this is like my go-to bronzer just very warm and sun-kissed wonder if this has any shimmer to it hmm I don't know if it's completely matte Let's see yeah it doesn't say it looks like it has like a sheen to it but it's not shimmery at all so I'm gonna take my bronzer brush and just It didn't break. <laughs> wow, that was close. Okay, so I'm gonna take a little bit of that on my bronzer brush and just kind of lightly set my cream contour. This color might be a little too warm for me, but we'll make it work. I believe this bronzer was like six bucks too. All right. I think it looks okay. Let me see. Hmm. I'm just gonna blend a little bit. Okay. Yeah, I think it looks pretty. So I did pick up this Essence Make Me Brow um, Eyebrow Gel. And I'm gonna pop a little bit of this on the outside of my brows. This was only $2.99, which was crazy. It's really pretty. Alrighty, so I'm just gonna do my eyes really quickly. I'm gonna be using the Whatever palette from ColourPop. And I'm just gonna do like a simple natural look. I'm probably gonna mix um, this color, Copycat, and a little bit of Pink Slip into the crease and then i'm going to apply a little bit of this orangey tone which is called pass it on um just slightly in the crease as well and then pop a little bit of this brown and then maybe like a shimmery color we shall see
for mascara, I did pick up a new one from Essence. And this is the pink one, which is called Crazy Volume. I'm just gonna apply a little bit of that on the top lash line. I am gonna apply lashes, um, but you guys can skip this part. Before I apply my lashes, I'm just gonna apply some brown liner on the upper waterline. Tight lining. <laughs> And the lashes I'm going to be using today are from Amazon. They are the best. I will link them down below. They're super cheap. They're like six something for a pack of three. And I'm just going to apply some glue. I'm using the Kiss Glue. So once lashes are on, I'm going to do my lower lash line really quickly. And I'm just gonna take that brown color and just pop that right underneath. And then I'm gonna take a little fluffy brush and take a little bit of that copycat and pass it on. Just like that. And then I'm gonna pop, where is it? Some nude eyeliner. I'm actually gonna sharpen it first. Just to open up my eyes a little bit. Now I'm going to be using the ColourPop Super Shock um, blush in the color Drop of Hat. And I'm going to apply a little bit of this right above the cheeks. Alright, so for highlighter I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild one in the color Precious Petals. This is such a good highlighter, oh my god. So for my inner corner highlight, I'm just gonna be taking the same highlighter and with my finger, I'm just popping that right in the inner corner. So for a setting spray, I'm gonna be using the Catrice one in Dewy Glow. I'm gonna shake it up a little bit. And just spray that all over. Holy moly, this looks so good. So for lips, I'm gonna keep it pretty glossy and I'm gonna use, hmm, I got this new KKW lip liner in the shade Nude One. The one that I usually wear is Nude Two. So we'll see how it looks, Nude One. Eh, I'm gonna do Nude Two just cause I'm really tan. So, I'm 
And then I'm using the ColourPop lip gloss in the shade Crazy Little Wings. This is one of my favorite lip glosses at the moment. So pretty. Alrighty, so this is the complete look. I really like the way the foundation and the concealer look. Um, I wouldn't say this is like a dupe for my holy grail um, Too Faced Born this way, but I am really enjoying the concealer. I think this is gonna be like my new favorite for days that I don't want like a super full coverage or like super glam. All right, so I'm gonna go about my day and I will check back with you guys in a little bit later. So see you later. So overall, I do like the products. I don't like the primer. I probably wouldn't recommend that to anyone. I don't know unless you're on a budget but there are better primers out there for the same price i mean the elf putty primer that's eight bucks and that's just amazing so i wouldn't really recommend the wet and wild it was you know good to try but i didn't like it um but yeah thank you guys for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video